Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Delta Airlines Flight 2998, bound for Atlanta, Georgia, with continued service to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. All carry-on items should now be stowed securely, either in an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. All aisles, exits, and bulkhead areas should now be clear. All electronic devices should now be turned off and stowed, as they may interfere with the aircraft's navigational and communication systems. Once airborne, we'll let you know when you may use approved electronic devices, but note that some items may not be used at any time during the flight. You'll find a list of approved devices in the in-flight information section of Sky Magazine. If you're seated in an emergency exit, please review the responsibilities for emergency exit seating on the back of the safety information card located in the seat pocket in front of you. If you are unable or prefer not to perform these functions, please let us know and we'll be happy to find you another seat. As we leave the gate, please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle and adjust the strap so it's low and tight across your lap. To release the belt, lift the top of the buckle. Remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened any time the seatbelt sign is on. Even if the sign is off, we ask that you keep the seatbelt fastened while seated in case we experience some unexpected turbulence. Passengers to comply with the posted placards and lighted signs located throughout the cabin, as well as any crew member instructions. Smoking is not allowed on any Delta flight, and federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying a restroom smoke detector. There are 12 exits on our Boeing 747-400, 12 doors, 5 on each side of the main deck, and 1 door on each side of the upper deck. Eight of the doors on the main deck have detachable slides that can be used as rafts. The doors on the upper deck and those above the wings have slides that may be used in land evacuation only. All exits are clearly marked with an exit sign. However, if we experience a loss of power resulting in cabin visibility being reduced, white lights illuminating this aisle will guide you to red lights marking each of the exits. Please take a moment to find the exits closest to you, keeping in mind that your closest exit may be behind you. If there is a drop in cabin pressure, panels above your seat will open, revealing oxygen masks. If this happens, pull a mask towards you until the tube is fully extended. Place the mask over your nose and mouth, slip the elastic strap over your head, and adjust the mask if necessary. Breathe normally and note that oxygen is flowing, even if the bag doesn't inflate. Be sure to adjust your own mask before helping others. A water evacuation is unlikely during this flight. However, life vests are located under your seats in the economy cabin, and if you're seated in first or business class, life vests are either between your seats, under your seats, or in the compartment under your armrest. To use, pull the tab to remove the vest from its container. Open the pouch, slip the vest over your head, and fasten the two straps to the front of the vest, and then adjust the vest to fit loosely around your waist. As you leave the plane, inflate it by pulling down on the red tabs on the bottom of the vest, or manually inflate it by blowing into the tubes at shoulder level. You can activate a light by pulling down on the tab in front. Most seat cushions can be used for flotation as well. Before we take off, please be sure your seat backs are in the upright and locked position, your tray table is put away, and all carry-on items are securely stowed. As we come through the cabin for our final safety checks, please let us know if you have any questions. We all ask that you review the safety regulation card located in the seat pocket in front of you. Once again, welcome aboard Delta Flight 2928 to Atlanta, and thank you for flying Delta.